continue to pray for our sister Cherry and her eye situation. Yes. We're yes. believing God for a complete touch and healing. Yes. Amen. Amen. Cherry? Ashton. Ashton. Yes. Uh -huh. Anybody else? Let's remember, Kevin, the doctor changed some of his medicines. I see. He seems to be doing better, so let's look good. for him. Good, good. Praise yep. the Lord. You keep our little grandbaby in your prayers. Yes. Everything go all right. Be healthy. And when I go see him, I'll wrestle with him. Hey, <laughs> he's almost big enough to. Well, I do it. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Well, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. All right, let's just pray together. Father, we thank you for another day, God, another service that we can come and worship you in spirit and in truth, God. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for everything that you do for us every day, God. We're thankful, Lord, for the blessings you put on us and the health you put on us, God. We're so thankful for that, God. And for keeping your hand upon us and making us strong, God. We pray that you just continue to bless our church, God. Minister to our church, God. Fill up our church, Father. Have your way in the mighty name of Jesus. We will forever give you thanks. Amen, amen, and amen. Come on and give the Lord a good hand.
I said I know. I surely know. I surely know. I surely know. Jesus, Lord, can make the Bible sinner clean. I said I know. I surely know. I surely know. I surely know. Jesus, Lord, can make the Bible sinner
Sometimes you've got to be a little salty. <laughs> yeah. You say, what does that mean? That means you're going to stand for something. Yeah, that's right. Stand for what you believe in. Amen. 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 So sometimes we we got to be a little bit salty. Amen. I uh, had a few times in my life, I was in a, a restaurant eating, and I heard somebody behind me start uh, putting down the Trinity Church, uh -oh. and he, he was evidently he was oneness, and uh, so uh, I just had all I could take. And he said, "Well, brother, brother Skiles, what did you do?" I turned around and I said, "Did you know that you're wrong, and I can prove it?" <laughs> oh, Lord. And man, he looked at me and. Say, well, I know I'm not wrong. And he tried to preach me a sermon. I said, let me give you one scripture. And of course, I told him about the man dying uh, on the cross with Jesus. And Jesus said, this day, you're going to be with me in paradise. He didn't get baptized. Come on. And that guy kind of shut his mouth and turned around and didn't say another word to it. Okay. So I I was I got a little salty, but I was still uh, kind about it. You know, I didn't get ugly right. and cuss and mm -hmm. do all well, these I things, but I, I let him know what yeah. I think. And sometimes as Christians, we must do that. Yeah. Yes. Amen. Wow. Sometimes you got to do that once in a while. Let your kids know what's right. Amen. Hello. Right. Father. We thank you, Lord, for all of our children, all of our grandchildren, yes, God. Lord. We pray a special blessing upon them right now, God. 
Pray that you would have your way in our offering given tonight. Bless the storehouse in Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen. Amen.
the sound back there. Oh, oh there's William. I didn't see him with his head. Sorry, William. I'd like to say something about Sister Bandu. I appreciate this lady so much, and I know she woke, wakes up early every morning with her mind on Jesus. Yeah, so, yeah. So, sometimes uh, I get up at early on Facebook, and she's already been on there putting scriptures on there. Oh, right. And so I know she wakes up early with her mind on Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Wonderful. I, I'm sure thanking you all for your praying for me. Yes, it was a successful surgery. I just have to um, attend rehab. We have cardiac rehab classes. So I'll be doing going to the rehab, the cardiac rehab, you know, from birth. But thank God, you know, they yeah, see me through. Prior oh, really works. Yeah, yeah. 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 My song tonight is about I found the lily in my valley. You know, yeah. he said in the valley we restore our souls. Yes, that's yeah. right. And so we can depend on him. Yes, amen. All alone and broken hearted, trying to calm the raging battle with mama. In search of many answers that the troubled soul just couldn't seem to find. Glory to God, thank you, Jesus. I saw a flower blooming where there was no rain or sunshine. And I knew not that this flower would change the rest of my life. I found a lily in my valley. I found strength when I was worn. I found a place to leave my burden. found refuge from the storm, a place where I train my dark skies to be in rays of sunshine. I found the lily in my valley. Give me a 
place where I trade my dark sky to be in rays of sunshine. I found the lady in my valley, and it blooms all the time. Yes, he's the lady in my valley. been praying that God would give me my legs. I've been praying for that for a long time. Come on. So far, he hasn't, but he's given me the strength to go. Yeah, right. And when you think about this song, think about how much power Jesus has just in the hem of his garment. Amen. Yes. I mean, when I think about this song, it, it just amazes me that the little old lady got healed by touching just the yeah, hem yeah, of his yeah, 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 yeah. And one day we're going to be able to touch him all together. Yeah, yeah. Think of how much power there's going to be in that. Yeah. Right. I do this in G, hopefully. G. In the Bible we read of a woman whose condition by you she saw all she had but was no better her condition grew worse year by year and then she heard of the healings of Jesus Oh! 
Come on, men of God. Mighty men of God. Let's, let's do a little bit of blessed quietness.
<laughs> no, for our visitors. I love the Lord tonight, and I'm thankful for what He does for us on a daily basis. And I thank Him for our singers. Yes. Yes. Thank Him for our musicians. Yes. Amen. Amen. They do well. Worship is the key. Yes. Amen. It is the key. If you can't yes. have good worship, you just will shut the lights off and go home. Come on. And I was thinking about some dear, dear pastor friends of ours. And he's an old cowboy, an ex Marine or a former Marine. And his wife is a school teacher. And they pastor a little bitty <laughs> church. And they're always faithful to everything. Anytime we had anything district-wise, they were there. It didn't matter. They were always there doing what they could to help out and all of that stuff. Praise the Lord. And they've been doing their services online. And they're so dedicated and they love the Lord so much. Aww, bless and she sings songs out of the hymn book. And he plays the harmonica in the key of C. Whatever she's singing, whatever he, he's playing in C. And every time I think about it, I say, God, send them some musicians. Come on. Oh, send, them, send them somebody that either can yes, play Lord. the guitar or play the piano. Something, Lord. Send them. They've been there for, yes, Lord. Lord have mercy, 20, 21 years that I know of, maybe even longer than, longer than that, I think. But they're so faithful to the Lord. Amen. And, you know, they just get right in there and just have church anyway. <laughs> And, and I'm thankful that the, the, the number of people don't bother them. You know, there you they're go. there on a mission for God. And, and they're doing they're doing what they're supposed to be doing. But I said, God, send them some faithful people. Send them some people that'll support the church, that'll pay their tithe, and that they will have somebody that can lighten their load a little bit. Yeah. 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 So, oh, because they're precious. Oh, I mean, awesome. they are absolutely, sometimes I'll call her and just say, hey, hi, how you doing? And she starts laughing. <laughs> she starts laughing and I'll say, all right, now what's so funny is she said nothing, I was just thinking about you. She said that I was thinking about you laughing. <laughs> and she said, and I just love you. And I said, well, I love you too. And, and, and I just, you know, Sometimes we fail to realize the blessings that God gives us. Come on, man. Lord, that's that's it. Or we take it for granted. That's that's it. That's it. And I don't ever want to take anything for granted that the Lord does for us. That's right. I thank God that he gives us to have the strength yes. to get around yes. on that Amen. walker for that's right, right. now. And, you know, till she does get her new legs and all of that stuff. She's occupying until he comes. Hallelujah. Yes. That's right. No, oh, I love him tonight. And I love Amen. Him. Oh, Amen. 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 God's goodness and the things that he does for us Amen. and sometimes we just don't think about it just mm -hmm. complain Lord. about stuff you know and I thought Lord. man there's a hundred people that trade you places in a heartbeat yeah. Yeah. but you know Lord. I love him tonight and I just yeah. appreciate God's goodness Thank you, Jesus. so when, when y'all pray you happen to think about it ask God to bless the Texoma church with some musicians and some workers and stuff because they they need it All and, right. and they them. just get weary under the load and I know that they do mm -hmm. and we'd go up there for sectional rallies and, and ladies meetings and stuff and of course he'd play drums and I'd play the keyboard somebody play and they'd get so excited they said we've got music today praise oh, the Lord and, you know and it's heartbreaking yes, and sometimes yes. I just I just don't want to take anything the Lord does for granted I just oh. love him tonight amen, amen. There was a, a pig and a, a chicken talking one day. And the chicken said, I want to do something great for the farmer. He said, I'd like to have a breakfast. And 
and uh, and he told the pig, he said, let's me and you get together and let's uh, make the farmer a breakfast. You can supply the ham and I'll supply the eggs and we'll have him big ham and egg breakfast. Yeah, yeah. somebody got to die. The pig said, now wait a minute. For you, it's just going to be a contribution. Yes, come on with it. But for me, it's going to be a true commitment to make the ham. Yeah. And so I, I want to start out by saying God is looking for people that will make the full commitment. Praise yes, Lord. you're right about that. Yeah. Yeah. Serve right. God with yeah. all your heart. I'm going to ask you a question. How salty are you? How salty are you? Now, I'm not going to use the usual scripture that talks about salt, where it says that salt loses its savor, a good for nothing, cast out, trampled on. That's a good scripture, but I'm not going to use that. I want you to turn to me to Colossians. Chapter 4 and verse 6. Colossians 4 and verse 6. It says, Let your speech be always with grace seasoned with salt that ye may know how ye ought to answer every man. That's Amen. true. Yes, sir. Amen. Very true. Right there. Grace, Grace and salt. Yes. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Grace, Grace and salt. Hallelujah. Father, I pray that you would touch us tonight. Yes, Thank you for your many blessings this day. Thank you, God, for victory in our lives. And touch all those that need to be healed and ministered to tonight. In Jesus' name we ask it. Everybody say it. Amen. Now, if you took the Atlantic Ocean and you took one ton of water out of the Atlantic Ocean, it would produce approximately 79, 79 pounds of salt wow. from one ton of water. If you took a ton of water from the Pacific Ocean, you would get 81 pounds of salt from one ton of water. Okay. If you took one ton of water out of the Dead Sea, yeah. it would produce 500 pounds wow. of salt. So I'm asking you the question tonight, how salty are you? Do you stand for what's right? Come on. Do you let people run over you when it comes to religion? No, God oh, forbid. Lord, God Lord forbid. Jesus. Do you allow people, I don't get offended, to cuss in front of your children and your wife? Oh, no. Come on. Now, when my daughter was in high school, junior high actually, I had a coach's jacket, a black, with the black leather sleeves and the red in the middle of the material. Mm -hmm. And I had a pair of mirrored sunglasses <laughs> that I wore and I always wore a ball cap. Bad news. <laughs> And I went to pick my daughter up from school. 
And she comes to the car and she shuts the door and she said, I don't believe it. I said, believe what? She said, that kid standing at the door just said some ugly, ugly things to me. I said, what kid? She said, that one right there. I politely get out of the car, walked over there with my coach's coat on, and my mirrored sunglasses. Oh boy. And I walked up to him and I said, son, can I talk to you? He said, yeah, I suppose. I said, you see that little girl in the car over there? He said, yeah. I said, don't you ever cuss her again, because if you do, you're going to deal with me. Do you understand? You know what he said? Yes, sir. I understand. Now, I'm sure. I look like the Terminator with them glasses. Oh. Because <laughs> I didn't smile when I walked up there. And he can't see your eyes. But I wanted to let him know in a nice way that he needed to watch his ugly mouth around my daughter. Amen. Stand up. Amen. I was eating at Steak and Shake. I had my daughter-in-law, I had my wife, I had my daughter, and a couple of grandkids. And we were sitting in one of these big booths. And uh, the people behind us started using filthy, filthy language. Mm. And I turned around in the booth and I said, excuse me. I said, you need to watch your filthy mouth in front of these children and these ladies. Come on, somebody. Yeah. True. Did they say come true. On? True. Yeah. And I never turned all the way back in the booth. I wanted to let them know I was ready for action. Oh, if action was come. <laughs> come on. <laughs> He said, well, why did you do that? For one, it's not right to let people talk like that no, in front not. of your wife and children. You're right. Absolutely yeah. not. You Come need on. to say something about it. That's right. And as I sat there, I happened to look over, and there was a great big dude, big dude. in another booth, and he went, <laughs> oh, I got your back, man. Oh, no. If anything happens, I'm going to be right there with you. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Let your talk be easy, but it needs to be salted yes. and seasoned. Amen? That's exactly yes, right, brother. That's right. Salt enhances flavor. It does. It surely really does. Did you ever eat an egg with no salt or pepper on it? <laughs> doesn't have much flavor. Come on. It doesn't have much flavor. No. Right. I mean, an egg, if, if you get into the yolk, you can taste the yolk, but there's no flavor in the white of an egg. None whatsoever, unless you got a little pepper on it and a little bit of salt. Amen. 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 Did you know that salt makes itself known? Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Did you know that? Yes, yes sir. Oh. Distinctively. My wife left me in charge of the macaroni. Uh oh. That's all I had to do is make the macaroni. She did not tell me what I was supposed to do to the macaroni. Oh. <laughs> I know how to make macaroni. <laughs> <laughs> and Brother Jamie, I made it just like it said on the box. <laughs> and then I forgot that I saw 
the water when I made them. Ooh. Uh -huh. So I thought, well, I'm going to add a little salt just Ooh. in case. Ooh and when my wife come through the door, she thought she would add a little salt to the macaroni. But you never do. And as soon as I put macaroni in my mouth, salt immediately made itself known. Hallelujah. <laughs> Woo, there's salt in this macaroni. <laughs> Now I'm sure none of you men have ever and never made that mistake in over salting something. Amen. Uh, uh, Whenever I do my beans, I got a certain way of doing them. Yes, you do. I use uh, pork leg, smoked pork hocks, and and I I, I got I, I know how much salt I use. I put it in my hand and I throw it in the pot. And I know exactly how much to put in. And just about nine out of ten times, and you get a hold of your seat, I make perfect pinto beans. Oh. Perfect pinto beans. Don't you be shaking your head, no. <laughs> Depends on your taster. <laughs> I I know how much salt to put in, right. and, and, and I know what it takes to please my taste. But you know what they say? They say you can lead a horse to the water, but you can't make him drink. Can I tell you something? If you give him enough salt, oh yeah. He'll drink the water when he gets there. Sure will. <laughs> I know I've got two horses that I I want to get them up here one of these days. And I've, I've got two beautiful sorrow quarter horses in Texas. And uh, one of these days I'm going to borrow a trailer or get a trailer uh -huh. and go pick them up. Their names are uh, Rosie and what's the other one's name? Ruby. Rosie and Ruby, they're both red horses. They both got a little white star in their forehead. Now they're not, they're not riding horses. I've never rode either one of them. Wow. But they're pets. Oh man. I, I I go out there to do stuff at her dad's place, and that one will come up to me every time that I'm out there and nudge me in the back with her nose. Just follow you around. Just follow me. Want me to pet her, talk to her, and, and just spend some time with her. And she stays right with me. Now, the other one's a little bit, uh, not, not wild, but more spirited. And she wants to run and kick. But the, the one just stays right with me. And, and I found out that if you give them horses a salt lick, I mean, those what a mineral salt lick is. Oh, yeah. You know, you, you've been on the farm, you know, yeah. they, they, they use them for cattle. And, That's right. And if I put one of them out, the next two or three days, I'm going to see my horses at the watering hole drinking. Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> because salt will cause you, come on, yeah. to drink. Yep. Yeah. Have, have you ever ate popcorn all night? And get thirsty? Come on, salty popcorn man! You're just sitting there shoving it down, and before you know it, I gotta get me something to drink. Sure enough, yes, that's true. Come on, y'all know I'm telling you the truth. Yeah. <laughs> so, so indicates purity in speech. Yeah. Salt symbolizes keeping a promise. Turn with me to Numbers 18 and 19, says the scout. 18 and 19, Numbers. And, and the it didn't make no difference. Just turn and read it. Salt symbolizes keeping promise. 18 what? And 19. Listen to this. All the heave offerings of the holy things which the children of Israel offer unto the Lord have I given thee. 
and thy sons and thy daughters with thee by a statute forever. It is a covenant of salt forever before the Lord unto thee and to thy seed with thee. Woo! Amen. 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 Did, did you know that they used to barter with salt? Yep. Mm -hmm. it, it was used as money. And did you know the covenant of the wedding? Back in the Bible days, when you got married, they exchanged two bags of salt. Mm -hmm. And the only way you could break the marriage, if you could reach your hand in the person you traded your salt with, that made the covenant, and get the exact amount of salt out, then you can break the wedding. If you couldn't do that, you couldn't break the wedding. Come on, somebody. I think we need to have some salty marriages where they have that again going into marriage. Yeah. Yeah. My Lord. Good idea. Can I tell you something? Whenever 50% of Christian marriages end up in divorce, there's something wrong. Yes, sir. There's something wrong. Yes, sir. I'm not talking about sinners. No. I'm talking about 50% yeah. of Christian mm. marriages end up in divorce. That's right. You say, why do people get divorced? Well, one thing, I don't think they fell in love to begin with. Because you see my baby over here? <laughs> oh. Now I'm your baby. First, I was an old piece of salt. Now I'm your I've been, I've been married to her going on 51 years. Well, praise God for that. 51 years. And she's been my friend. She makes me laugh. I've been your foe a few times. She's been my cook. She's been my nurse. Amen. Hello. And she just takes good, good care of me. And I appreciate her for that. Amen. Yes. Amen. And one of these days we're going to heaven together. Yes. Hello? Yes. She doesn't tell me she don't want to want, want us to go first or second. She wants us to go together in the rapture. Yes, sir. That'd be fine with me. Amen. Yes, sir. Go to heaven together. God's will for you. Amen. Grandma and the cloud next to us. Yeah. Now check your soul. That you have in you. Are you the kind of person who others likes to be around? Mm. Or when people see you coming, you see them ducking in Walmart in behind the beans and the fruit stand. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> Come on, when, when you're salty, people want to be around you. That's right. Yes, Lord. They, they want to talk to you, amen? amen. Because you're, you're producing something out of uh, yourself that God put in you. Praise You're letting your light so shine. Well, amen. amen. And people want to be around that. D did you know I don't ever go around people that are negative if I can keep from it? That's right. Praise yeah. Lord. That's right. Hello? Amen. Hey, well, I don't know what's going on. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Come on, be positive. That's right. Let people see the joy of the Lord that you have in your life. Amen. The joy of the Lord is my strength. Yes, it is. And I get up every day and I thank God for the joy He puts in my life. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. I, I can say something to my wife and she'll say something to me and we'll just laugh and giggle <laughs> like, like we're teenagers. Amen? Hey, Lord, Lord, always. Always. Not always, <laughs> but sometimes. sometimes yeah. <laughs> if you got salt, you keep promises. Mm. Yeah, Lord. Come on. Amen. Can, can I tell you something? I've known throughout the Pentecost Church of God for keeping my promise. Amen. I tell somebody I'll be there. If I'm not there, they're getting a phone call saying the car's broke down or something. 
But yeah. they know if I give my word, yeah. I'm going to fulfill yeah. my word. That, that, that's what salty people do. Yeah. Yes, sir. Amen. Now, I'm going to tell you something. I didn't know that we had, I thought that Sister Raven was the hot rider in their family. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> that I had to ride to town with William oh, my. twice. <laughs> They're pretty equally yoked. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to watch this. And I, wasn't, I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. I just got in there and sat down. Man, right on! Oh, he, he put that thing down on the floor. And, and this is what he said. This was his excuse. He said, sometimes you got to blow the soot out of these diesels. But he blew the soot out of that thing about four times. Going to town and coming from town. Oh, oh my goodness. Amen. <laughs> Are you characterized by goodness? That's being salty. There you go. I, I, I want people to remember me as being kind, easy to talk to. Amen. Praise the Lord. Come on. That's yeah. right. Praise the Lord. Now I don't like talking on the phone. <laughs> oh my. I, I really don't. Y'all know, know that. But talking in person, I love to talk. Sometimes we sit back here and we, we'll, we'll talk 30 minutes. And I'm thinking, when are you people going to leave? Church has been over for 30 minutes. We're standing back there at the door talking. Visiting, having a great time. Oh, man. Amen. You know what they call that in the charismatic church? Afterglow. Yeah. That's after call, amen. Sure not <laughs> Blessed Lord. quietness, that's what it is. Oh, it's... <laughs> oh, praise the Lord. <laughs> An unbelieving world is watching and listening that's right. to you and everything that you do. Yeah, absolutely. So have salt in your conversation. Have mercy in your conversation. And can, can I tell you something tonight? I have thoroughly enjoyed preaching to you tonight. Yeah. Oh, I, I, you know, sometimes I just preach and do the best I can, but sometimes I thoroughly enjoy it. Well, and I thoroughly Amen. enjoyed it tonight. Amen. Amen. Don't forget Wednesday night service. Now there will be no ladies meeting this month. And uh, so... Make sure that you don't come over here expecting to get something to eat because there won't be nothing here. <laughs> Unless you bring it yourself. <laughs> Amen. I, I appreciate the glad tidings and uh, the blessing you are to me and my wife. I appreciate your prayers and uh, the love that you've shown us for these five years. And I'm looking forward for another five or ten years. If you have a missionary offering, yes, I did mine this morning. I forgot. Thank you. Now, some people just don't, they don't think about it. They don't, they don't give. I made a pledge to God. I'm giving so much every month, and that, that's what I do. And I don't think I've missed a time. Have I given my missionary offering? And I, I believe when you make a, a pact with God, you ought to keep it. You say, what do you mean make a pact with God? I told him, I said, God, if you'll bless me, I'll give this much every month to missions. Amen. And uh, I, I've done it every month. And so that's how I pay my missions off. And you may just want to do change. You just may want to throw in a dollar, and that's fine. Uh, our missionaries need it. Did you hear me? Our missionaries need it. Do y'all remember the story I told you about the little guy who was going on the mission field, and everybody laughed at him? They sent the missionaries out over in Africa. And man, there was like 20 of them was going out to the, the bush and they was going to win people to God. And this little guy was crippled and couldn't even walk. And they were making fun of him. The other missionaries were making fun of him. Why don't you stay here? You, you ain't going to do no good. And they went over. 
and uh, for for six months or whatever it was, and, and they came back for the big missionary convention. They said, "Well, what have you done?" One guy said, "Well, I nearly won one guy to God." Another one said, "Well, I I talked to a young lady about the Lord, but she never made a commitment." And all of a sudden, they heard a ruckus in the village and here comes this young man this crippled man walking dragging his leg man they went running they said what have you done he said i've won this chief to god in his entire village to god and we've all come to let you know what you can do if you'll trust in god come on somebody stand to your feet Praise God. If you have a missionary offering, give it to Daniel. And uh, just, if you'll be standing somewhere, just find him. And, uh, put him in. I believe in missions. This church believes in missions. Father, we ask you now to bless our missionary offering. Yes, God bless your children. God, keep your hand upon us. Yes. Bring us back. God, let us be salty this week, God. Let us have salt Amen. with God about us. And, uh, let us have mercy in our speech yes. mingled with the salt, God. Pray that you just move now in Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen. Amen. You're dismissed. Hallelujah.